two, one, fight. After months of training for battle, China's humanoid robots are popping up everywhere in the West. Imagine you're minding your own business and you see this robot walking down the street. They just proved they don't need help from humans to play football in Beijing. And now they're emerging in clandestine arenas to bring it on. The first rule is to pretend it's just a demo. Meanwhile, back in the mainland, leading robotics firms are sharing shocking progress. As they move toward mass deployment, they're enhancing their humanoids to walk, think, and train with a level of sophistication that was unthinkable just a year ago. In San Francisco, an underground fight club for robots has emerged featuring high-end humanoid cage matches. Viral clips circulating on social media show short humanoids from the Chinese companies Unitree Robotics and Booster Robotics participating. Hangzhou-based Unitree recently reached unicorn status after disrupting the humanoid robotics market with its G1 robot, which has become popular among researchers, developers, and increasingly, content creators, thanks to its relatively low price, starting at $16,000. Unitree's robotic dogs, which are even more popular, also appeared in videos from the event. And Booster's T1 humanoids, which are priced starting around thirty-four dollars have become widely adopted in robot competitions like RoboCup and Beijing's recent fully autonomous three-on-three -three robot football match. The San Francisco event, called the Automata Ultimate Fighting Bots Tournament, reportedly took place in a secret basement venue with a cyberpunk rave-like atmosphere. On social media, the event's organizers teased that the tournament was just a glimpse of what's coming. The night's winner was Six Liv, an entrepreneur who's gone viral while jogging with his G1 humanoid on the streets of San Francisco. He's also the co-founder of Rec, which is developing a VR game where players train to pilot virtual robots with movement mechanics mirroring real humanoids. Top players will have the chance to control full-sized humanoids in real-world fights. The founder has been sharing clips of himself training full-sized Unitree H1 robotic humanoids for battle. On the X social media platform, Six Live said backlash is brewing over the event and San Francisco's evolving tech culture. He acknowledged that the robots look like toddlers during combat, but the technology is advancing rapidly. The tournament's organizers are among the first movers in a niche market that's emerging amid the humanoid robotics craze. They're appealing to the same demographic that previously grew up playing Rock'em Sock'em robots and aggressively modifying remote control cars for combat. The idea is similar to the 2011 movie Real Steel, which was inspired by a 1963 Twilight Zone episode based on a short story by Richard Matheson, the author of I Am Legend. In Detroit, this G1 humanoid robot, named Zion, made headlines for strolling around seven mile like a real person. According to reports, it's promoting an upcoming event called RoboWar for R. Cartwright's Interactive Combat League. Earlier this year, Ultimate Fighting Bots teamed up with Booster Robotics and Singapore-based Frotobots to launch an online platform that allows anyone in the world to control real humanoids in live combat matches. Also this year, Unitree Robotics held its first ever mixed martial arts match between humanoid robots in Hangzhou, near its new 10,000 square meter factory. Four Unitree G1 humanoids competed in one-on-one -on -one matches consisting of three two-minute rounds, with points awarded for effective strikes and penalties for knockdowns. During the inaugural event, called Iron Fist King Awakening, human controllers operated the robots, in real time using voice commands and remote controls. The G1 robot introduced itself to the world in March 2024, wielding a baton. It was notable for its record low price, which Shenzhen's engine AI beat in December 2024 with its short king called the PM1. Like the G1, 
The $14,000 PM1 is mostly intended for researchers and developers today. The two robots are bound to fight at some point, as Engine is planning its own spectacle. The startup says it will hold the world's first full-sized humanoid robot boxing tournament, called Mecha King, in December 2025. Also in Shenzhen, Limex Dynamics just shared this footage of its next-generation humanoid robot showing off its improved strut. The startup, which is known for its agile biped and quadruped robots, teased that a full reveal is coming soon. Standing 164 centimeters, the CL3 sports a sleek metallic silver and black finish for a futuristic high-tech aesthetic. It perceives its surroundings with its sensor-equipped head unit, which houses cameras, LiDAR, and depth sensors for real-time terrain mapping and obstacle detection. The robot's hollow, high-torque density actuators provide full body balance and smoother movements. In another recent video, a CL3 robot showcases its fluidity, performing office-style stretches. According to Limex, the stretching routines are enabled by 31 degrees of freedom. Limex introduced its first CL series humanoid, the CL1, in late 2023. The robotics firm has grown swiftly since its founding just a few years ago. Earlier in 2025, Alibaba-backed Limex announced it had raised nearly $70 million in a Series A funding round as it aggressively moves its advanced prototypes to commercial products. Limex has previously demonstrated its flagship humanoid's potential in logistics. The startup's other platform is the Tron One, which it calls the world's first multimodal bipedal robot. The Tron One, first introduced in October 2024, switches between walking, point foot balancing, and high speed wheeled locomotion in real time. Limex is pitching the platform as a gateway into humanoid reinforcement learning research. It's designed for academia, AI and robotics labs, and industrial R&D teams. Its pricing starts at $15,000. Limex's CL3 is among a truly staggering number of AI-powered humanoids emerging from Shenzhen the booming tech hub often called the Chinese Silicon Valley. Shenzhen Doba, which rose from a Kickstarter campaign to become an industrial automation leader, says its first robotic humanoid, Adam, has entered mass production. Priced around $27,000, Adam boasts a human-like walking gait and fine motor control, precise enough to pick up a cherry by the stem without crushing it. Another major player, Pudu Robotics, is commercializing its wheeled and bipedal humanoids using its sizable commercial base. Its flagship humanoid, the Pudu D9, is built to serve in places like warehouses, retail stores, and hotels. Pudu, which recently shipped its 100,000th service robot, has priced the full-sized humanoid at between 20 and 30 grand. A newer firm called AI Squared recently raised hundreds of millions of yuan to rush its wheeled alphabot to general-purpose humanoid to market. An even younger Shenzhen startup, Lumos Robotics, has reportedly raised nearly $28 million in angel funding to develop a full-stack humanoid robotics platform. The first Lumos prototype, called the LUS-1, debuted in early 2025, and the second-generation iteration emerged in June, demonstrating the ability to get up from the ground in just a second. According to Lumos, the LUS-2 robotic humanoid served as welcome ambassador during a recent visit by the Austrian Council. Other notable Shenzhen humanoid robotics companies include Digit, which has unveiled multiple lines of sci-fi-inspired humanoids just a year after its launch, the leading Chinese robotics firm UB Tech, which recently introduced its first hyper-realistic android named Una, and is mass-producing its Walker industrial humanoids that are reportedly helping assemble iPhones for Foxconn, and the EV manufacturer Xfeng, which plans to start mass-producing its iron humanoid robots in 2026. In Beijing, 
the rising startup PND Botics just shared this demo showcasing its flagship humanoid robot Adam's potential as an office assistant. The startup emphasizes the humanoid's biomimetic torso and modular actuators that unlock human-like body motions. Standing around 1.6 meters tall and weighing 60 kilos, Adam now has enhanced precise manipulation capabilities. The robotic humanoid also has an improved walking gait, which PND Botic says is thanks to its proprietary reinforcement learning algorithm. PND says its mission is to create a general purpose fake human capable of operating effectively in any scenario. Also in Beijing, the startup robot era recently unveiled its sleek service humanoid with a compact waist design that's narrower than an iPhone. Standing 165 centimeters tall, the Wheeled Q5 humanoid boasts 44 degrees of freedom as well as 11 in each hand. According to Robot Era, the Q5 fuses LiDAR and stereo vision for smooth navigation. Its AI-powered dialogue system understands 37 languages. Robot Era says this slim-waisted design empowers the Q5 to maneuver tight indoor spaces and avoid obstacles. The Q5 humanoid is powered by the startup's foundational model called Era 42, which supports human-in-the-loop learning, closed-loop iteration, and continuous self-improvement. Capable of speeds up to one and a half meters per second, the Q5 is intended for applications in hospitality, retail, tourism, and healthcare. Robot Era says it's already received more than 110 orders. Launched in August 2023, Robot Era was incubated by the Institute for Interdisciplinary Information Sciences at Tsinghua University. Robot Era previously gained attention with its bipedal humanoids, who've broken records for speed, and for being the first to climb the Great Wall of China. Meanwhile in Shanghai, Ajabot just shared this footage of its new short humanoid robot, putting its unique hybrid locomotion system to the test. The Lingxi X2 and bipedal robot can walk, roll, and switch dynamically between modes within seconds. Its feet work kinda like Healy's, those sneakers that switch to roller skates. The robot can walk and slide at the same time. Standing 1.3 meters, or about the height of an average eight-year-old, the Lingxi weighs around 34 kilos and boasts 28 degrees of freedom. Ajabot founder Peng Zhui is shown here stress testing the new humanoid stability. In the video shared on his personal YouTube channel, the Lingxi robot carries a box weighing 5.8 kilograms, about the same as a large cat. In the video, the robot climbs stairs blindly carrying a package relying only on its sensors. It coordinates its whole body to stay balanced and move smoothly. The robot is an upgraded version of the original Lingxi X2, which Ajibot introduced back in March 2025. According to Ajibot, the robot processes interactions in milliseconds. It reacts to human emotions via voice tone and facial expressions to make its behavior feel more empathetic and lifelike. Ajibot says the upgraded version can generalize zero shot to new tasks, which means it can handle jobs it's never done before without extra training. It can also collaborate with other robots. The startup has launched multiple versions of the X2, ranging in price between fourteen and more than $55,000. Ajibot has become a significant player in the humanoid robotics industry as the Chinese government is determined to lead the emerging market by 2027. The company, which has reported manufacturing at least 8,000 humanoids already, is pitching itself as the one-stop development platform for embodied artificial intelligence. The startup aims to ship 5,000 robots in 2025. To support the expansion, the manufacturer plans to open a plant in Shanghai's Pudong district to boost its production capacity to more than 400 humanoids per month. Ajibot's full-sized flagship humanoid robot, the A2, 
recently debuted as Pepsi's first robotic brand ambassador. An A2 robot also recently performed with human actors during the Aranya Theater Festival. During the exhibit, the robot used its advanced AI to understand speech and emote. The rising ubiquity of China's robots has accelerated efforts to mainstream humanoids in the West. A growing number of open-source humanoids from buzzy startups like K-Scale Labs are emerging to bring low-cost alternatives to Chinese androids to the masses. For more on that, check the related video.